everyone and welcome back to my channel and today i will be continuing what if naruto was like gara but before we get into that i will please like to remind you all to leave a like on the video no it's okay i'll wait okay now that you've left the like we can get into the video After Madara announces that he's ready to fight, he immediately holds out his hand, launching several chakra rods at Naruto. One actually pierces his um, wind barrier that surrounds him, and then like the wind, the one that's really up close to his skin, it pierces both of them, hitting Naruto in the shoulder. And with the force of it, it actually got him stuck to a rock. So Naruto had to get himself out of that position while everyone else, which was the Kage and Sasuke, helped defend Naruto. And in the midst of defending Naruto, Sasuke, I'm gonna say, gets thrown by Madara into Hashirama, making Hashirama miss his water dragon. So after like, a few more minutes of Naruto being stuck to the rock and them fighting off Madara, Hashirama finally gets the idea that um, he should go into a sage mode and Tobirama asks him why didn't he do that in the first place and when Hashirama goes into a sage mode he realizes that only like sage mode or sage of six possibilities will work. Naruto realizing that um, he doesn't necessarily have a lot of those lying around he only like he just decides that um he's just gonna try like play defense or crush him if that's ever the case so after naruto gets off the um off the rock he tells sasuke that they need to come up with a plan and minato tells him that they already have one and when naruto and sasuke like look at him they start act like they ask him what's the plan and so minato tells them to look down at their hands and instead like when they look down at their hands they see the like the moon and the sun and minato tells them that hashirama has a plan to end this but it's going to get a lot harder before it gets easier and Naruto confused as to what Minato means by that. Minato tells Naruto that they're gonna have to make Madara stronger. And this confuses Naruto because he's wondering why exactly he would want to make Madara stronger. And Madara like interrupts them by kicking Minato away and telling Naruto that this is the end. Naruto seeing how close Minit seeing how close not Minato but Madara is to him, he immediately activates his wind barrier and when Madara goes to grab him to whip out the nine tails, he ends up shredding his hand clean apart. And Naruto confused as to how he hurt Madara because Madara is can't be affected by normal attacks. It has to be like Sage of Six Paths related or just Sage Mode related in general. And Hashirama tells him that a long time ago, well, since you were born, you've technically had it, but you know, it's just no activating. Basically, the Sage of Six Paths gave you some of his power for moments like these. So Naruto just immediately accepting that fact, they begin to fight again. And in this time, Madara is on the back end. In fact, he's being pushed back and into a corner. And when he turns around, this Zetsu carrying black Zetsu stabs him in the back, turning him into this weird blob type creature. And out from the blob type creature comes this lady and Hashirama and Naruto and everyone around them can sense that this is clearly the bigger problem. So Hashirama and 
Toby Rama tells Naruto and Sasuke to get ready. And Naruto tells Toby Rama that um, he shouldn't be trying to give out orders. And Naruto, like, just starts, yeah, I don't even know what the fuck I was going with that. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> Naruto tells um, Sasuke that all they have to do is touch, like, put their hands on her to seal her back away into the moon. And Naruto, like, as he's saying it, he gets, like, not stabbed, but he gets, like, pushed back and into a portal. And so does Sasuke, but they fall into two different ones. And Hashirama was able to jump into the one that Naruto was in, and Minato was able to get into the one that Sasuke was in because he had a seal on him, and he grabbed Tobirama and the third Hokage with him. So, after, like, they all get pushed inside, Kaguya realizing that Naruto is going to be the more difficult one because they're two stronger fighters on that end. But she also realizes that if she goes into the one that Sasuke is in, there's a higher chance of them finding out a better way. Not a better way to steal her away, but it'll take longer for her to kill all of them because there are more of them. So she goes into the one with Hashirama and Naruto. And when she gets in there, she's greeted by like this huge force that Hashirama made in like his giant statue with the fists on it. I don't know the name of it. But yeah, so when she gets into there, she immediately realizes what the hell's like, what's going on. So she covers herself, like she wraps herself up in her hairs to like a ball of hair to protect herself against Hashirama's fist, which beat her into the floor quite literally. And like as when right before she thinks it's over, Naruto puts her inside of a wind ball and he's trying to like just compress her to keep her contained. And Naruto tells Hashirama that he's going to be able, he's not going to be able to keep doing this for very long. And Hashirama puts like several wooden domes over Naruto's um, wind ball that he has her in. And Naruto tells him that you know those aren't going to hold her for very long. And Hashirama tells Naruto that it's not meant to hold her for long. And like on cue, Hashirama turns and he sees Sasuke and the rest of the Kage coming through. His, um, Sasuke's dimension, like ability. I don't know if, I don't know if it's still called Kamui or not, but yeah. So after Kaguya breaks out of Naruto's wind prison, she realizes that she was trapped and un put underneath domes and when she breaks out the domes like immediately after she jumps up and she breaks out the dome she throws like those wooden things that decay everything she starts throwing those and one of them hits Minato but since Minato is a reanimation it's just killing the reanimation so Minato tells Naruto that he probably only has a little bit of chakra left because the ability if i'm not mistaken if your chakra like if you have a lot of chakra i guess it doesn't erode you away fast but yeah so minato tells him that if he can get him close enough they can end this and you know they won't have to fight anymore but after that this reanimation body of his will disappear naruto not really caring, but accepting the fact that this might be the only time, or well, the last time that he gets to really see his dad. He grabs Minato's shoulder, and Sasuke um, activates his Susano, and he starts rushing in, but Hashirama and Tobirama start covering Sasuke. And when Sasuke gets, like, close, like when Sasuke gets close, Minato teleports in and when Minato teleports in Kaguya is getting ready to like throw a wooden thing at Minato but Sasuke switches positions with Minato and blocks it with his sword and then Naruto and Sasuke put their hands on 
Kaguya sealing her back into the moon and when they come back into the real world everyone gets re like um reborn not reborn but you know yeah they everybody gets brought back Naruto ends up now he doesn't go back to the leaf village he decides that the best course of action for him would be to make a village of his own although it be a small one it would still be a village that he can control and like the leaf village I don't remember who the um, leader was. I think it was Jiraiya or Tsunade, whichever one, I don't remember. So um, yeah, so they tell Naruto that they're always gonna have an ally in the leaf. And everybody kind of goes about their days. This is the final part. And due to the fact of Naruto being so sadistic, I really doubt that he's gonna have enough time to breed with Hinata. And even if he did breed with Hinata, there's no guarantee that those kids will come out any different, given the fact that there's no real change here except for Naruto being more similar to Gara in nature than himself. But that was his last part. Peace.